So I'm pleased to be joined by my good friend, Andrew Hamilton with Hamilton Auction Company. Andrew, how are you doing today? Great, great, Pete. How are you? Well, I'm doing good. And uh, I do need to say congratulations. You have a new little guy there, I understand. Yeah, a new addition to the family. So that's always fun and exciting times. So, yeah. yeah. Well, congratulations. And uh, on the topic of exciting times, man, you have quite a sale coming up on, I think it's Tuesday, December 13th in Spring Valley, Minnesota, just down the road. Yeah. Yeah, just down the road here from us, about uh, 15, 20 minutes, uh, Ron and Gary Boat uh, Farm Retirement Auction. Um, two brothers here that uh, have been part of the farming community around here for a long time and have an exceptional line of equipment here offering at public auctions. So. Yeah, I've been checking out your website, which it's uh, hamiltonauctioncompany.com. That's the website, Andrew? That is correct, yep. You can okay. get on there. Uh, there's an online bidding link there to give you... Uh, Online catalog pictures and videos here will be posted here soon of all the equipment the descriptions and service records for every piece around there. So pretty thorough um, description there of everything that you need to know and all that kind of stuff. So Yeah, you guys do a great job with your website. Andrew, I uh, always loved how you guys, the detail you provide there and the great pictures. Take awesome pictures too. So hats off. Hats yeah. off for that. And uh, now the, the sale, it's a, it's a live sale with online bidding, right? Correct. Yep. Yep. It'll be okay. live at the auction or um, on Tuesday there with online bidding there. Yep. Provided a okay. site. So, and the online bidding portion does that open December second? Did I catch that right? Yep. Yep. The bidding opens here uh, here pretty soon, and, uh, and it'll end at that uh, end is coinciding with the live auction. Yep. Sure. And inspection days uh, the Saturday and Monday prior to the auction. Yep, yep, or by appointment if you're coming through. I've had some people come from a long distance away, you know, um, if they, they give us a head, you know, call a heads up. And, uh, you know, Ron and Gary have been very um, accommodating for everybody's schedule. They want you to come look and they want to show off, you know, their lineup of stuff because it's 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 it to that level. I mean, they're pretty proud of it and they should be. So, And, folks, if you haven't been to Spring Valley, Minnesota, you should really go. And, actually, during the Christmas season, too, I don't, I don't know who does that uh, – that big pine tree on the edge of highway 63 on the south edge of town but i love going by that thing every year yeah, yeah city spring valley does that there and it's, it's an impressive sight to see yeah. now and again talking about impressive let's talk about the tractors on the sale december 13th andrew wow let's start with the uh track tractor an 18 model 9620 rx deer 36 inch tracks uh 1566 hours on this baby Correct. Yeah. Power shift transmission. Yeah. It's got the display. I mean, all the bells and whistles on it. Clean, nice tractor. You know, when we came to write these sales up, uh, the sale up here with this machinery, most of the stuff was just ready to back out of the shed. That's how these guys, you know, how clean they kept it, maintained it and stuff like that. It took a lot of pride in it. So that tractor there, um, I don't know, you could put any more options on it for most people. So yeah, really nice, clean tractor. Yeah. Even got the refrigerator, uh, not like I grew up with. Uh, no fridges yeah. when I grew up, but yeah, yeah, very cool. Now, also, uh, how about that 8360R, a 13 model, under 2,700 hours on that thing? That tractor there, um, you know, kind of IV, IVT transmission, five hydraulics. That was their main planning tractor, and that's about pretty much all they did on the farm. So it's been hooked to that uh, 1775 NT planner. You know, and they, that's, that's, it was its main job and pretty much only job around the farm is to plant and, and beautiful that, so. Yeah, I, I was really enjoying the picture on that one. Uh, and also the four-wheel drive, of course, they've been red hot here, Andrew, and you've got a, an 07 deer with a PTO. Correct. Yep. Yep. That was their auger car tractor and uh, spare kind of tillage tractor and stuff like that. But yeah, that uh, six hydraulics power shift got triples on it. You know, um, John Deere active seats with the uh, HID lighting, you know, good lighting package on it. Um, tires are really good shape. It's not really too many flaws on that tractor at all. So, yeah. And this uh, this auction kind of has something for everyone. You've got an awesome loader tractor too, selling an yep. 08 Deere 7330 with a 741 loader. And was it just over 3,500 hours on that thing, Andrew? Yeah, it'll probably have just a few because we've used it around the yard there, but about 3550, 3555, somewhere in there for hours. Joystick controls, um, it's got good rubber, you know, nice loader on it, you know, not a lot of heavy, uh, you know, use on that machine, just kind of a yard tractor around there and, you know, stuff for, you know, out in the field, picking a little rock and that kind of thing. So, yeah, all stuff is really straight, clean, clean lineup of stuff. 
And even you even got a pair of 4020s right before Christmas for people to, to bid on here, Andrew. Yeah, yeah. Um, both the, they ran, uh, they had some rock wagons that they run, you know, in the pick and rock. It's kind of common in this area for most people. They were well aware of that. Yeah, so they had these uh, nice 4020s. They used them around the yard and uh, um, pulling rock wagons and had the kids and stuff coming out to, to do that duty in the spring. And that's kind of their main purpose. It's nice, clean. Clean, just you know, nice old 4020 diesels, you know, so. And let's hop over to the harvest equipment. Uh, I've never seen the used combine market this active and, and strong here, year end 22, Andrew. And you've got two combines on the sale. Uh, can you tell us about them? Yeah, one's a 17 model, like last model of the S680, um, you know, set up kind of kind of nice. Um, it's got, you know, the Prairie Hopper on it, Powercast uh, tailboard on it. 26 uh, in a 26 foot auger, longer auger to handle the draper heads that most guys want nowadays. Um, 2630 in the in the armrest there for you, and also pretty much checks most of all the box uh, boxes for it. Um, super super been main clean, you know maintained. Um, they've had every year they do a uh, um, you know pre harvest inspection and stuff and post harvest inspection. So that machine's always been well kept up and maintenance has been done and. Again, all those other records and stuff are posted there online on the online catalog. So, and then uh, they up the 2002 was their second machine. They ran two machines here on, uh, on their bean harvesting, um, an older machine, but kind of same same pedigree. I mean, it's been real kept up nice, pretty decent. It's got the higher capacity stuff in it, you know, with the longer auger and that kind of stuff. So, um, should fit, you know, both of those machines. Fit a lot of people's operations really nice you know so yeah i love the uh you know variety there we see an active market for those older combines too in good condition uh and the s680 i think has was it just over 1700 uh sep hours on that thing yep 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 so um you know, 9650 sts that was uh 2279 separated hours yep, yep those are updated hours here after harvest we wrote those uh um, the sale bill and stuff up prior to harvest, and uh, we have those updated hours and stuff posted here on the, on the online bidding link. Um, so yeah, both pretty you know pretty decent hour machines. Again, if you see them in person, you you, you won't be disappointed. I can't stress that enough. So Gary and Ron uh, really took uh, quality care of their equipment through their farming yeah. career. Yeah, they're class act guys, you know, um, and they, it shows from top to bottom, you know. Um, you pull in their yard and I mean, everything fits, has its place and they, they run a top notch operation. So, so I'm sure you've seen it, Andrew, too. Uh, one of the things I've noticed over the years covering auctions went, like you say, when you pull into the farmyard uh, or even on auction day, just, you can tell, uh, you can just tell, can't you? Um, yeah. The atmosphere and the, the environment they created to run their business and legacy and, and how they represented themselves and, you know, in the community and things and what they wanted to do and what they achieved. And here, I mean, here's a great public offering for that for everybody to kind of partake in that, you know? So right. not something you get to see every day, but uh, when you do take advantage of it, because you're going to go home with some really high quality machinery. So you bet. And while we're on the topic of harvest equipment, boy, some uh, intriguing heads on the sale too. Can you walk us through those, Andrew? Yeah, so the um, we have the, the, the flex draper, the 40 foot flex draper. It's a 2020 um, 740 FD header, uh, 40 foot. It's got the query wind system in it with the flip over wheel. So, again, set up, I would say, how everybody likes to see them, you know, or buy them. So, um, not a lot of acres been put through that in the last couple of years. Um, they've kind of been scaling down their operation a little bit in the last, you know, two, three years. So, that machine. You know, hasn't probably seen the acres like a lot of them have on the on the market. You know, mm. um, and again, they ran two machines on the beans. You know, so that even right. makes sense. yeah. So, really a nice sharp um, flex draper there. That's kind of hard to come by. You know, I mean, with things that are, um, you know, John Deere's starting to catch up on some of their orders and stuff. But this stuff like this is it's hard to get your hands on it. So buy it when you can. And I don't see the. Um, you know, the supply um, shortage going away short term, you know, for a little while. Right. So, um, you know, the 2018 is uh, John Deere 612C chopping head, you know, um, again, really great. They got it set up, right? It's got the, you know, all the stock stompers put on it, intermeshing rolls on it. And it's got some extra wear um, poly um, 
deals on the on the snouts and stuff like that they set up right away with it uh, yeah again really a really nice nice straight clean head so mm. well folks uh again uh, this is a fantastic auction coming up tuesday december 13th uh check out hamiltonauction.com for all the great pictures of the equipment andrew's highlighting here for us and some unique items as well if we get into the other equipment that planner I know, Andrew, you've been saying has been attracting a ton of interest, a 14 model to your 1775 NT CCS 24-0 30-inch high-speed. High-speed, yes. I mean, in the used market, uh, we haven't seen a lot of these high-speed planners um, hit the used market very often. You know, um, they're in high demand and, and uh, uh, you know, to find a, a used one coming to the market, these guys have been, you know, progressive um, thinkers and, and kind of first to the market and some of that stuff, so they one of the first ones around, you know, that uh, yeah. had had a lot of great luck with it. And I think in the community, a lot of people kind of fell, followed suit with that, you know, seeing how well they that that machine. And, um, you know, not every dealership's going to have, you know, one of these sitting on it. And, yep. uh, super nice, clean, straight, straight machine. Um, yeah. Be I've, uh, I've been hearing a, a little phrase of late with this with this equipment market, Andrew. You know the old saying, possession is nine-tenths of the law. I think right now it's 11 tenths, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yep. You know, and correct. a planner like this, a 14 model, high speed, 24 row, well cared for, highly respected farmers, open yep. auction, highest bid gets it. It's it's a unique opportunity, isn't it? Yep, yep, for sure. You know, that's they can't stress that enough. But this stuff only comes along so often. So when you, if you're in the market, you know, we look really want to stress to, you know, make sure you don't let this one pass you by. So. Right. Also that uh, field cultivator, highly intriguing, a 21 model, year 2230, uh, 69 and a half foot, I think, Andrew. And I, yeah. like right. we talked about before we hopped on the call here, uh, you know, a 21 model, it's just, you know, hard to find them. Uh, you yeah, can't get a new one. So gosh, here's an opportunity. Yeah, they hardly have the paint wore off the shank yet, you know? So, mm -hmm. I mean, here again, you know, it is an opportunity to, you know, to buy something in the wholesale market that uh, is bringing a premium even in the retail market. So, right. uh, yeah, again, hasn't hasn't seen a lot of had a lot of use yet. There's a lot of life left there for somebody, and, and uh, you know, it, hard to come by. You know, so and also a late model disc. I saw a twenty a two thousand twenty Sunflower fifteen fifty. Is that a fifty foot, Andrew? That is a fifty foot. Yep, it's got nine inch space hydraulic tilt. Um, that disc it's actually uh, options a, walk, a walking tandem mainframe, um, which is a nice nice option. Um, when I was writing the sale up with it, Gary and Ron both, they, they couldn't say enough good things about this piece of equipment. They, they, they just thought that was a pretty crucial piece for them, how they farmed. And it, it uh, was, you know, they, this is like their third or fourth one of the, that same model. Oh, nice. really, really liked the job it did for them and, and uh, um, you know, couldn't say enough good things about it. So Very cool. Well, I've seen Sunflower, uh, very, very solid on the resale side too compiling yeah. data like I have. Now let's talk the grain card, kind of a, a unique thing there, a 2018 Brent a V1300 grain card. Are the tracks, are they 42 inch tracks, Andrew? I believe so, yep, yep, 42 okay. inch. Um, it's got an adjustable spout on it, um, scale head, you know, scale with it, roll tarp, really sharp, clean, clean, uh, clean outfit there, so. Okay, and how about this last item? Uh, I got it down here, a sprayer, a 10 year old Deer 4830. Just over 2,100 hours on that thing? Yeah, I think that's a piece that could surprise all of us when it comes to the market. Um, with the demand and the buy, you know, tar spot that's coming on, this one is actually selling with the high clearance kit. Mm. All the guys that are thinking fungicide and things like this, this machine yep. would be great for you. Um, you know, we all know what the new one stuff costs, you know, but here, here's, a, here's a good solution for maybe something maybe more middle of the road for you, well cared for, um, you know, set up kind of the way you know so that high that high clearance kit with that machine should really um help that machine out so yeah i've noticed with sprayers uh the last six nine months it seems like andrew uh people scouting for these nice used ones at auction uh even uh, almost buying them as a hedge to, to protect against you know if theirs goes down it, with the shortage of equipment and stuff so right. um yeah this sale it's just it stood out i'm, I'm glad you reached out to me a couple well, yeah. a month ago or so and told me about this thing um but fantastic. Again, folks, it's Tuesday, December 13th in Spring Valley, Minnesota, Hamilton Auction Company. Fantastic auction company. Uh, check out their website, hamiltonauctioncompany.com. I, did I get that right, Andrew? 
That's one hundred percent correct. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. And uh, again, what are the uh, the preview dates on this thing, Andrew? Preview dates are Saturday, December tenth. We'll be on site there from no uh, nine to noon, and then Monday, um, the day before the sale, um, from ten to three, we'll be on site there also to handle any questions. Service records will be copies of all that. If people want a hard copy of that, go through that. They can go through that at that time. Um, if they can't make those dates work, give us a call. We can do something by appointment. Um, you know, we want to make sure we give you every opportunity here to get the information you need. So, right. And folks on Facebook, give uh, Hamilton Auction Company a follow. Great auction company. I've known them and worked with them for many years. They do an awesome job down there uh, in Dexter, Minnesota. Hopping over to Spring Valley for the sale December 13th. And Andrew, I'm speaking in Missouri on the 12th. I'm going to try to hustle back and make it down for the sale on the 13th because I want to be there. Uh, always fun to watch you and your crew do your thing. All right. Looking forward to seeing you. Your next piece of equipment is on machinerypeat.com. Search equipment from dealerships across the country to find what you're looking for. Only on machinerypeat.com.